BART get our non liquid in. I got a feeling that might stop up some filters. Well, folks, just in time. It's pouring. But well, we're in a hurry to get back. We turn on two others. So it's really loading up fast now. I'd much rather be running the track hose than doing this, but we've got 70 loads to haul for February and March, and so I gotta help with that. Gotta go turn off one of the others. We top the truck off with just one auger, the rest of it. You're struggling, Micah. Yeah. Can't seem to get it started. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. You got it. Good job. You put this little orifice in. Ah. And then you put the filter in. You're struggling. A little bit. Put the filter in, and then you come over here, wherever you find the wonderful place that you want to put one. And then you put it here as I struggle once more. Then you have to turn it. And sometimes we're a pain. Yep, a quarter turn locks it on, doesn't it? Yep, and then you turn this little knob right here and then you're good to go. You guys are doing a great job. You know what I love about this? That you are filming and not doing anything. That's right. You guys are doing all the work. Okay, folks, Mike is not here to tell you what we're doing, and he always wants a video to keep y'all in the loop, so here we are. We are top dressing wheat with liquid nitrogen. And so you can see the sprayer in the background. It's a beautiful day, about 70 degrees. The rain is coming, and we need to get it top dressed. And so it's gonna be a late night, uh, but we're getting a lot done fast, 120 foot boom, and we're able to move a lot of liquid in pretty quickly we're almost done here and so moving on to the next place he should be done here in probably 15 minutes maybe 10. okay so it appears he's done with this field i'm going to fill him up before i go uh refill my tank started today about 10,000 gallons we've got one of them uh, almost empty and uh, so I pull out of them into the yellow nurse trailer and then I haul with the nurse trailer to the field to fill up the sprayer all right got all my valves shut gotta put the lid on let you guys see it is a sticky sticky stuff 
in is no fun. It's corrosive. Beautiful sunset tonight, folks. A little late catching it, but it is nice. Gotta go slow. This full trailer will jerk the jerk the pickup truck around. It'll pull it, but it struggles to stop it. Got some chicken litter ready to be spread. Still going. I think he's probably about got this tank empty. It's always nice to have good lights. It's 20 minutes till 10. Last fill up of the night. Should be able to finish this field. And then I gotta bring the sprayer home. Rinse it off. We'll be halfway done. We'll finish it up tomorrow, hopefully before the rain. Back at it again, folks. A tire look low to you folks. Yeah, me too. 33 and a half. All right. Well, need to put about 80 in it again today. Okay, so you're probably wondering why did he fold up? Why is he gonna drive down the road? Sometimes the best way to avoid driving on the wheat is to fold up and drive down the road to another section of the field and then start back in again. You wanna drive on the wheat the least amount that you can because everything that gets driven on in these tracks is not going to make as much now you guys are probably wondering why do you have two sets of tracks out here and what we do is our sprayer has hydraulic tread adjust and we figured out that if you take the back wheels and you scoot them out uh scoot them out wider than the front wheels so that they're not tracking each other you don't have you know your front wheels and then your back wheels running in the same spot that will end up making less of an imprint and you get less erosion. It's a whole lot easier than, than buying a set of floater tires and putting them on. Okay, so there he is. He's gonna fold out and start again. Sure wish Micah was here with his drone today. Um, he just, he couldn't get away from school. So, but we'll get some cool drone footage another time. He's gonna spray that hillside crossways. Um, it makes for longer rows and uh, it helps with erosion. Sometimes in the spring, if you spray up and down hillsides, uh, you get some erosion in your tracks. And so I'm just trying to avoid that as much as possible. So I guess I'm gonna sit, wait for him to run that tank out. He'll call me and tell me where to come with the next load probably won't be here, uh, but I'm gonna take a nap. There's the hydraulic tread adjust that I talked about earlier. You can see we've spread it out about that much, probably 18, 20 inches.
always faster to get filled up by the tanker truck. video hopefully you enjoyed it my dad wasn't it most of the time but I was doing school so I didn't have time to do it sorry I couldn't get drone footage because then again I was doing school we're about to do an hydrus and before you know it we'll be doing chicken litter and planting so make sure you like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one